What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the final momentum dribbling training guide of Matoma. Now, if you guys remember way back when, we did highlight this guy like all the way back in eFootball 2022 as a hidden gem. And he has gone from strength to strength to now get a momentum dribbling uh, card. He is insane, lads. One of my favorite players to use. I did spin for him. I didn't get him. We might try go again. He started off as a 70 overall, then a 73 overall. Then he had a couple of player of the weeks. Now he's a 77 with the Japanese version pack. And then he had the the this ultimate version that it starts at a 78, but it goes up to a, a, a 94 overall. Sorry, lads, I'm a bit all over the place. But yeah, 94 overall is what he goes up to here. If you take a look at his card, he's got 45 levels to go, which is huge for a card with this raw ability straight off the rip. Because if you put 10 points into acceleration and... Um, dribbling you're going to have 90 dribbling 95 acceleration straight off the rip and still some change to spare right so when we take a look at him here he's actually not too dissimilar to this japanese version that they released obviously the acceleration is way worse but this guy is the best version of him that they have released by a mile because he's got 45 version uh versions to go or player trainer progression uh, points to go right so that's going to be a huge thing so if we take a look at his levels here we're going to ignore for the first build. We're going to do it in real time. A few people ask me to do it in real time. We're going to ignore his kind of like as a, as a dribble. This is going to be like a left midfielder type player, right? We've had a look at a couple of his stats here. Let's take a look at his player skills, right? So he does have first time shot. He does have scotch move, chop turn and double touch, but he doesn't have any passing skills, right? So that's why if you are looking to play him out on the left mid uh, instead of a left wing, this is the first version of him here if you want to do that, right? So we're not going to focus too much on shooting, but we are going to get that low pass up to 80 because he doesn't have any passing skills unlike Marez or unlike... Um, Vinicius Jr. from the same pack. The dribbling is kind of self-explanatory. We do want to get that dribbling up to at least 90 type possession. And then it's kind of pick your poison, right? Because we don't need a massively high offensive awareness if we're not going to be playing him as a dribbler, right? We can get the balance up, obviously, as best as we can, but we do need to keep a few for the stamina, right? I would say to have maybe at least 82 speed, that will give us 80 or that'll give us 80 stamina with 85 speed there. And then we can pop one more into dexterity to get 96 acceleration. Bit of overkill with the dribbling if you're using him as a winger. But I do like having the dribbling 94 and the tight possession as a 90. So that is if you are looking to use a player, um, you know, such as uh, Matoma as a left midfielder. Now, I think it's a bit of a disservice to play him as a left mid. Because I definitely think that this guy is more suited to being an absolute baller winger like cutting in we're going to ignore passing right we're going to leave passing at like 75 low pass that would be more than enough we have the dribbling we're going to leave that at that for just this second because we do want him to be an absolute demon on the wings and on the flanks we're not going to need too much of this 80 speed is more than enough with 75 stamina yes we're going to have to replace him after about 75 minutes but he should have the damage done by then or if we bring him on from the bench if he's not fully form arrow we'll be able to get instant um impact off the bench for him without having to need a massive variety of stamina or a massive um you know massive stamina reserves so to speak right so when we've 23 points left here we still have 90 tight possession 94 dribbling and 96 acceleration right we've got 75 passing uh low pass which is quite good the shooting we don't need that at all if we're using a winger um for the way that we're going to be using wingers is not going to be shooting we don't need that at all because even if you train up to 75 you're not going to get the curl in that much um and he doesn't have the real like kind of shooting ability anyway this guy is just a speed demon similar to dembele kind of that's how i would play him you'll still be able to score a couple of tap-ins with him in that but his dribbling is where it's all about, right? The passing, as I said, leave that at 75. We've got 25 progression points. So if you want to, you can actually get his ball control to 90 as well. That'll bring his, his dribbling up to 97, right? I think that's probably slightly overkill. I would leave the dribbling at 95 or else 94, depending on how you want to train him. And I would probably boost up um, his offensive awareness. Now, this is going to max out his acceleration at 99, which is a bit of a, a bit of a waste because obviously if we got a farm arrow, we're going to have no boost from that. But we want to balance up as close as possible to 90 because that's going to make a big difference when he's shrugging off challenges and stuff because he is quite, quite slight, right? From there, we can then decide to do whatever we want to do. As I said, you can pump a few more into the dribbling if you want to get 90 ball control, 97 dribbling, 93 tight possession. And then you can just pop one in there to bring him up to a 92 overall. 99 acceleration, 97 dribbling, 93 tight possession. 
that is kind of how I would train him. I think it's overkill. This card has almost got too many stats, but that 90 ball control is going to make a difference. He's got too many progression points, really, for how good his stats are that they max out so quickly. But that is it for me, lads. Let me know if you've spun him. Let me know what you think of these guides. And don't forget to subscribe if you're enjoying them. I'll be back soon with the nominating contract player training guides. Until then, peace.